Hello friends. The story that I am going to tell you today is happened many years ago in a little village in Georgia. Nasha had spent her entire life in the village. She had been born there and grown up with her mother and her father. Then when she was old enough, she started her own family with a man called Levan. Nasha and Levan loved each other very much and eventually decided that they wanted a child of their own. Not long after, Nasha gave birth to a beautiful baby girl, who they called Maya. The family was happy for many years with Nasha, Levan and Maya creating many happy memories together. As the years went by and Maya grew older, she eventually found a man who she fell in love with the two were married, but because of her husband's job. Maya had to move away from her mother and father as her new husband had a very important job in the finance industry, and so he needed to be closer to the city. Nasha and Levan were happy that their daughter was starting her own life and told her not to worry about them. But a few years later, Levan became very sick and he sadly passed away. After 40 years of marriage, Nasha was left on her. At first Maya insisted that Nasha should move in with her and her husband so that they could look after the elderly woman and so that she wouldn't be on her own. But Nasha refused as she didn't want to leave the village that had been her home for her entire life. Luckily, even though she was now on her own, there were still people in the village willing to help her out. As she had been a well-loved teacher at the local school during her younger years when she worked, a man called Giorbi had been one of her students, and he often visited the elderly woman to make sure that she was okay. And if anything needed fixing around the house, he would happily do it for her, along with being a bit of a handyman Giorgi, also enjoyed going hunting. He would often trek into the nearby forest to find suitable game to hunt, and he would sometimes share the meat from his kills with Nasha. One day, Nasha decided that the fence around her garden was looking a bit worse for wear, so she asked Giorgi to fix it up for her. The kind-hearted man agreed, but told the elderly woman that he also had a surprise for her. Once Giorgi arrived at Nasha's house, she soon saw what the surprise was. In his arms the hunter was carrying four tiny puppies. He told Nasha that he had found them in the forest all on their own and that their mother had been nowhere in sight. Georgi then explained that whilst he would be happy to look after them himself, he already had two other dogs at home that wouldn't be too welcoming to the tiny canines. However, he forgot to mention that the small canines weren't actually dogs, but were wolf cubs. After getting over her shock, Nasha agreed to take the puppies in herself as she had been wanting to get her puppy for a while to keep her company, and she could save these four lonely babies at the same time. Nasha took the pups into her home and immediately found four old bowls, which she used to put the animals' food in. The elderly woman emptied a can of meat into each bowl, and the pups were happy to quickly munch it down, but being growing animals and wild ones, unbeknownst to Nasha. The puppies stared at the old woman as if asking for more food, Nasha chuckled and joyfully obliged the cubs until they were finally full. Once the young animals were satisfied, Nasha laid down some old blankets for them and the little pups quickly fell fast asleep in their new beds. Once the cubs were asleep, Nasha left them in the house and went back outside to thank Georgi for finding the adorable babies. Georgi realized that Nasha believed the puppies to be dogs. However, he thought that whilst they were still young, they would not do any harm. And he could find a suitable replacement for when the cubs were strong enough to survive on their own. Later that evening, as Georgi finished up his work on the fence, Nasha went and thanked him for his hard work and for always being around to help her out. She then gave the kind-hearted man a bag of sweets for him to take back to his children before bidding him a good night for the evening. Once Georgi had gone, Nasha went back inside of her home where she discovered that all four cubs were awake and creating quite a bit of a mess. Still overcome with the joy of having some new company, Nasha couldn't stay mad at them for long. She cleaned up the mess and then realized that she needed to give each of the puppies a name. She decided to call the four cubs Teddy, Rascal Storm, and Mischief. As time went on and the cubs began to grow, Nasha began to suspect that they weren't normal dogs. They didn't look like regular canines as they were much larger larger. Their teeth were much sharper and they looked more wild all around. As well as that all of the local dogs would growl and bark at Teddy at the rest of the cubs when they walked past. 
Nasha's suspicions were finally confirmed one day when a local hunter was walking past and saw the four canines playing together in her garden. He instinctively reached for his gun, but was stopped when Nasha asked him what he was doing. The hunter then told the elderly woman that the four animals she had weren't dogs at all, but were actually wolves. Nasha was shocked by the news, but she wasn't afraid. She loved all of her pups equally, no matter what, and they had never once shown aggression towards her. So, she was not worried that they would hurt her. Nasha and the four wolves continued to live happily for next year. The canines were loyal to Nasha and guarded the home, just like a dog would. As fall came and the temperatures dropped Nasha, and the wolves would happily spend their days inside the warm home. One cold fall evening, there was a knock on Nasha's door, wondering who it could be. The elderly woman opened the door only to be confronted by three strange men. One of the men was holding a gun, which he immediately pointed at Nasha. He threatened that if she didn't hand over all of her money and valuables that she had in her home, that he would shoot her. The three men barged into Nasha's home and began to make their way further in. When they suddenly heard four loud growls, it turned out that with all of the noise that the men were making, they had woken up the four wolves that had been lying asleep in the living room. The canines realized that Nasha was in danger and quickly jumped into action, with the men confused and scared of what was happening. Mischief, Rascal and Storm jumped at them and bitted their legs and ankles. Meanwhile, Teddy ran over to Nasha and jumped in front of her, protecting her from the man with the gun. Whilst the wolves fought, the elderly lady snuck into her bedroom where she called the police. Just as she finished on the phone though, a gunshot rang out throughout the home followed by an animal's cry. Nasha rushed back into the living room where she saw Teddy huddled on the floor with a bullet wound in his hind leg. One of the men had managed to get the gun and hurt the poor animal, frightened by the noise of the weapon. The three men tried to make a run for it, but as they exited the house, they found themselves surrounded by police. They were quickly arrested, but Nasha paid no attention to them as she was too focused on helping Teddy. Thankfully, she was able to get him some help and the wound healed over the next few weeks. News of the four wolves, heroic deeds soon got around, but for Nasha, their new fame didn't matter. She loved them just like she would any other dog, and they loved her just as much in return. Let me know what you thought of the story in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing stories.